four, three, two, one, and liftoff. ASTP, Apollo Soyuz Test Project. Now in its third year of preparation, all is nearly ready for this first link up in space with the Soviet Union. Each country will launch and fly its own spacecraft, but share a common docking module that will allow astronauts and cosmonauts to pass to and from each other's spaceship. Astronaut Donald Deke Slayton, 51 from Sparta, Wisconsin, is one of the three American crewmen and will serve as the docking module pilot. Well, a docking module is a relatively simple piece of equipment. It's the only new piece of gear, but it's basically an airlock with a new docking mechanism on the end of it. And uh, one end has the basic Apollo uh, drogon so that we can turn around the same as we did in the lunar program and pull a limb out. In this case, we pull the uh, docking module out of the uh, booster. And uh, so it's attached to the end of the nose of the command module for the remainder of the mission. And it has a hatch on each end. Commanding the three-man U.S. crew for the joint mission, astronaut Thomas Stafford, 44, from Weatherford, Oklahoma. Astronaut Vance Brand from Longmont, Colorado, is command module pilot. We will have uh, two spacecraft launched, uh, one in the Soviet Union, uh, one in the United States. The American spacecraft will lift off at Cape Kennedy seven and a half hours after the Soviet spacecraft lifts off. It will only take us 10 minutes to get into orbit, but then it will take us roughly two days to catch up with them. We will rendezvous on the Soviet spacecraft. Uh, at the time of, of docking, which is after we complete the, the rendezvous, we'll be over the Soviet Union, and there'll be TV coverage. We will lock the two spacecraft together, and after that, we'll stay uh, in joint flight uh, with the spacecraft docked for two days, and we'll have a lot of joint activity. Some 27 experiments are planned during the nine-day flight, ranging from stratospheric aerosol measurements to crystal growth. A telescope to scan the celestial sky for extreme ultraviolet radiation and a helium glow experiment that will examine the nature of gases found between stars were developed at the University of California Space Science Laboratory. Preparations are nearly complete for this first joint space flight between the United States and the Soviet Union, an effort that offers hope for other mutually beneficial projects in the future as a result of this common goal.